This is X Block. Here's the X Block server. Maybe I made a previous recording of X Block, but uh, I deleted it, so I apologize for that. Here's my list of operator runs along the side alarms, 2010 wells, pump off controllers engaging, solar powered, electric powered, all that good stuff. So I go into my 909 run and I'm going to look at uh, 9033114.6. This is today's pump card. This is a surface card. This is a downhole card. That's the total surface stroke, 160 inches. Downhole stroke, 44 inches. So there's a little bit of loss via the wave equation. Down here it shows me 5.2 strokes a minute, 61 inch stroke length. It's a 226, 246, 86 pump jack, and we have 89% pump fillage. Over here, some information telling me the pump intake pressure, the rod string is not overloaded, and the gearbox is 49% loaded. So we're in good shape here. We did a stimulation on this well about a month ago. Let's go check the results. Here I have selected peak and minimum polished rod loads and production. So the peak polished rod load actually dropped a little bit after the stimulation. The minimum load on the polished rod stayed quite consistent. Our production went from 7 cubes a day to currently 9 cubes a day. We gained 2 meters cubed or 12, bar 12 barrels of fluid. And that's over 90 days you're looking at this trend. I come in and look at... Let's try... 8 of 14, 1 14, 6 on a 34 run. Looking at a 90 day trend, we've seen our peak polished rod load quite consistent for over 60 days and then it took a big jump. Our minimum polished rod load, or the downstroke load, was quite consistent and then it severely dropped load on the downstroke and gained load on the upstroke. Our production also went from 35 cubic meters a day to 60 cubic meters a day. This was a result of a second well being shut in in the same pool. And uh, if I want to see what the pump fillage was doing during that time, I can add a fourth trend, put in the pump fillage. And our pump fillage was running around 96% the whole time and actually dropped off a little bit. This well does have a VFD on it and it likely sped itself up, which I can also check too. Looks like the speed went from four strokes a minute to eight strokes a minute, four to eight. So it sped itself up on site. That's a good info from a pump off controller taking care of itself. Uh, if I want to know what the whole 7 to 34 run is doing, Looks like I have one well shut down, the rest of them were all okay. And one hydraulic pump jack with, uh, it's possibly down as well. Tells me tubing pressures via pressure transmitters, pump fillage, strokes per minute, today's runtime, yesterday's runtime, whatever I want, how many this well is actually running on and off on in pump off control mode it made 65 cycles yesterday you know 14's pump card today looks like this I go back into the card library I can look at August 8th double click on August 8th overlay it you can see the loads from here here increase quite significantly you can see the minimum low drop off here when the pump jack was sped up so that's the resulting load change from here to here versus before
Um, good part about Xbox it says the rod string is still not overloaded, even with it being sped up to 8.7 strokes per minute. And our gearbox uh, is actually overloaded 17%. So I should actually check the gearbox balance. So this is a balance date from here to here, but our actual is here and here. So I could balance this gearbox for a better loading. I want to see what the wave equation thinks. I can look at the predicted card. The dashed line is the wave equation. And we're matching it fairly closely, so I think we're our data is quite good. I have a problem well here on the 3 to 10 run. This well is virtually flowing. It's a very thin card. There's very little load on the polished rod. It's a very thin downhole card as well. So there's 2300 PSI pump intake pressure. We have a 640-168 pump jack on the longest stroke doing 5.1 strokes a minute with an inch and a half pump. Unfortunately, it's two and three eighths tubing, so I'm pretty much maxed out. I could uh, stroke it a little bit faster, but I don't seem to get any fluid when I do that. So we can uh, we can look at the speed changes here. Went from six strokes a minute to seven strokes a minute, and uh, our resulting production never changed during that time. So neither did our loads. The wells pretty much flowing what it wants to and um, we're just keeping it unloaded with the pump jack. And that's a quick look at Xbox. It does a lot more, but uh, these are the main features you'd be using.